Hello again from Digicore Things. In an earlier video, I updated the TMS VDP card to version 2, adding support for the TMS 9918 60Hz composite video VDP chip, which was the most common variant used in the NTSC TV stand countries. I also added an option for a tested TMS 9918A VDP chip with Crystal to my Tindy Store VDP card listing. This meant that I was now offering the options of ordering the PCB with either a TMS 9929A or a TMS 9918A chip. Of course, it took somebody to ask before I realised that I really should complete the available options by also offering a TMS 9928A chip, therefore also providing for a 60Hz RGB output option. Interestingly, the TMS 9928A chips are rarer than the others, and therefore also more expensive to source. No doubt this is due to the TMS 9918 being the predominant chip that was used in the NTSC market. And of course, the TMS 9929 was the only variant available for the PAL market. However, I was now keen to try a TMS 9928 chip as it also has the possibility of providing the optimal image quality of all the VDP chips, primarily because many modern monitors are actually more optimised for 60Hz display rather than 50Hz. This was also evident on my previous video where the TMS 9918 60Hz composite video output displayed nicely framed by default on my workbench video monitor. This compared to the TMS 9929A output, where at 50Hz the image is offset and in a slightly wrong aspect ratio, even after some adjustment. Of course, the TMS 9929A, combined with the TMS RGB module, certainly provides a much sharper display than the TMS 9918A's composite video output. On this basis, I'm really interested to see how the TMS 9928A performs. Will it combine the nicely framed 60Hz video of the TMS 9918A with the RGB sharpness of the TMS 9929A? I wanted to find out. So I hunted down a couple of suppliers, well three in the end, of the TMS 9928A chip and I placed a few orders. Interestingly, the first order I placed didn't ship for over a week, whereas the other suppliers shipped promptly, and one of these orders was the first to arrive. So here are the first TMS 9928A chips to arrive. Let's open up the anti-static package and take a look. And here we have my first TMS 9928A chip. Let's take out my existing TMS 9929A VDP chip on my original TMS RGB equipped VDP card. You can see the TMS RGB module underneath. And I'll install the newly received TMS 9928 chip. Let's just make sure the pins are straight. Right, I'll plug 
the VDP card back into the back plane and power up. Then I'll run the same initial test program that I tested with the earlier video. And it looks really great. As I suspected, my monitor is a lot happier with the 60Hz base signal. And I'm seeing a perfectly sharp RGB image that's also nicely framed. I'll also put up the earlier video capture of my TMS9929A output for comparison. Actually, why not put up all three? This is the TMS9918A composite video. Then the TMS9929A 50Hz RGB and finally today's capture of a TMS9928A 60Hz RGB output for comparison. Well I'm really impressed so I think I'll leave the TMS9928A chip in my VDP board for now. Interestingly it also means that software which utilizes the VDP's frame interrupt for timing also run a bit faster as the code will be receiving 60 interrupts per second instead of 50. Okay, with some TMS9928A chips having arrived, operation verified, and more chips on the way, I'll now add the TMS9928A plus crystal as an additional option on my Tindy store listing. This will mean if you want a tested TMS VDP chip with your VDP PCB, you now have the optional choice between all three TMS VDP variants. I think I can now finally call my MECB TMS VDP card offering complete. That's it. Thanks for watching.